think? Are you ready? Are you ready? Do you think we're on? I think we're on, Bruce. I think we're on. Hello out there in internet world, everybody. How is everyone doing? I am uh, Lauren here at Catskill Animal Sanctuary. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, if this is your first time coming along on one of our virtual tours, really excited to have you here. If this, if you've been to us uh, checking out every single one of them, because I know we have some very dedicated watchers out there. Thanks for sticking with us. Um, yeah, we got some folks coming in. We'll give it a couple minutes because we just got started. Right, Bruce? We don't want anyone to miss even just a moment of handsome Bruce time. Isn't that right, bud? Yeah. I'm get you. <gasps> gonna get you. Gonna get you. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah, so like I said... I'm Lauren. That's Bruce. Um, some of our other friends are probably hiding around here as well. And we are calling you from Catskill Animal Sanctuary, and we are a rescue organization for farmed animals located in beautiful upstate New York in the town of Saugerties. It's a nice, warm day today. Bruce is clearly smarter than I am because he's in the shade and I am out here in the sun getting all squinty. Um, I don't fit there. Oh, and you just pooed. That's nice. Now I'm definitely not going to go sit under there because there's a big pile of duck poo. Gross. Anyway. Um, so, yes, yeah, so we are a rescue for farmed animals such as ducks, like our boy Bruce here, and also turkeys, chickens, cows, horses, pigs, sheep, uh, goats. Who am I missing? Geese. The occasional rabbit, the occasional donkey. Quite a number of animals. We have about 300 animals who live with us here right now. And we have rescued over 5,000 since we got started back in 2001. Keep us pretty busy. And we provide a place for these guys who... You know, a lot of them have some pretty awful beginnings before they came to live here at the sanctuary, and we give them a safe place to live uh, for the rest of their lives. And we also educate people, such as your sh yourselves, connecting, helping people connect with the animals and share with the animals and learning about them. So thank you again for joining us. I see we do have some of our regular viewers in. Hi, Janine. Hi, Sean. A few more. Your friends are here, Bruce. Yay! <laughs> so, let me introduce my dear handsome Bruce. And if you've got questions or comments or anything, feel free, pop them in um, the chat there, and I will be able to see them there and uh, answer whatever questions or anything you might have. So, my boy here, let me kind of kind of pan down here a little bit more. You're so short, Bruce. You're very short. That's okay. You're kind of a big duck, though. My guy here, he is a Muscovy duck. So if you're familiar with um, common wild ducks like mallards, for example, you know, small ones with a green head if they're male, um, brownish, whitish if they're female. Bruce looks very different from that. Uh, he is a totally different species of duck, being a Muscovy duck. And they are native to South America, uh, but they are introduced here in North America. So sometimes you'll find populations of them in different parks and things. Um, but Bruce in particular, I mean, and, and they end up here um, because these sorts of ducks are the ones who are commonly raised to be eaten. Uh, so our boy here, how he came to be with us at the sanctuary, and uh, I'm going to tell the story a little bit backwards. So... He is a former New York City resident. He was living in an apartment in New York City. My bud? <laughs> uh, and he, of course, had a human roommate, because I, I don't think they rent apartments to ducks in New York City. Never mind, I don't know what... I don't know how he, pay, he would pay rent. So, he had a human friend who he lived with. And they lived together for years, just, like, cuddling together. Like, he would watch TV with her and just kind of sit on her lap. And they would hang out and just the best of friends. Uh, and she found him 
walking around on the sidewalk. Just this duck, wandering around. So, since he's never told us about his life before that, we don't know the exact details, uh, but we can make a couple guesses based on the type of duck he is, some of the features of his body, and the area that he came from. So, like I said, Bruce is a type of duck who is commonly raised for human consumption, uh, and there are a lot of markets in New York City and other major cities where the animals are alive. Uh, probably not for too much longer at that point, uh, but they want to live, so some of them are able to escape. So what we think happened is Bruce escaped from a live market, um, which I don't know how because he's very slow. He walks very, very slow. <laughs> so I don't know how you did it, man, but I'm glad you did. And I'm glad you lucked out. You found a really nice person who was able to take you home and take good care of you. Until eventually, you know, life happens and she couldn't anymore. But she wanted to do right by her buddy Bruce. Uh, so he came to us here. And he's been with us now for, uh, for several years. Right, bud? Right now he's being very chill. Now, if you know Bruce, if you've met him before, and I would love to hear people's Bruce's stories in the, in the comments, because um, he's a goofball, and I'm sure we have some good Bruce stories um, from people who visited our dear boy here. Um, he's very, very people-focused. Um, and right now he's being very calm. Maybe it's just because it's hot and he doesn't want to expend too much energy. No, huh, bud? But he does like to try to climb in your lap, and he likes to try to sit on you. And he does get really excited when his uh, favorite people come to visit. And he gets so excited that he likes to bite people. Is that right? I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I got you. Oh, you can't get me. Oh, good boy. <laughs> oh, almost got me. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, too quick. <laughs> Yeah, oh my gosh, she is a very lucky boy. Yeah, he's he's definitely staying here. We can still do the cuddle. Oh, he almost got me that time. You sneaky little boy. Can you show off your tail wag? Can we see a little tail wag? So Bruce definitely is very expressive when he's happy. Uh, he'll do a little tail wag. Can we see the tail wag? Maybe, maybe not? And also the feathers on the top of his head here. It's kind of like a little crest that he'll kind of just stick them all up and make cute little noises. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe right now we're just feeling pretty chill. Yeah. Oh, when he started using his pool. Oh my gosh, yes, that's a very good Bruce story. Um, because apartments in New York City, to my understanding, aren't exactly known for having, like, large swimming places for ducks. <laughs> um, and the market that Bruce was probably at and the farm that he was raised at really wouldn't have had swimming opportunities for him either. Um, so, you know, despite, like, ducks like water, you know, taking something, taking to something as a duck to water is insane, Bruce never really got that idea because he was never familiar with enough water to swim in. Um, so he was always very dirty. Yes, you were. Oh, were you going to bite me because I said you were dirty? You are. You are. You're smelly. You got smelly poos. <laughs> um, but yes, over time, he's kind of started to figure out, like, oh, yeah, no, wait, the water's awesome. And now he'll splash around in there. He actually um, was having a good time in there yesterday uh, and splashed me a bunch. Um, and yeah, so he's got his, I'll just show you, he's got his little... His little kitty pool over there. Nice and clean. Uh, he does also look very clean right now because uh, he just finished a molt. So molting is when a bird sheds their feathers and then grows in new ones. So these are all his shine. Oh, there's a little tail wag. Did we just get a little tail wag, bud? I'm going to get your tail. <laughs> um, so yeah, molting totally normal thing that birds do to kind of refresh their feathers. So his new feathers just kind of finished coming in. The long ones on the wing here, those were the last ones. So he's got these beautiful, shiny, new feathers. So he's looking very clean and very handsome. <laughs>
<laughs> oh yeah, and Bruce has definitely doused me in water before too. In fact, he did that yesterday. It's actually not that bad. It's kind of nice, right, buddy? As we're getting into summer here. I hope the weather's equally nice wherever you all are. I know um, someone said they were in Florida. I know some of our regulars are here in New York. Oh, and it's Dee! Hi, Dee! Um, so yeah, how often do they molt? It does kind of depend. You know, a lot of them will molt like once a year or so. Um, but it, it does vary kind of like by how old they are or what their health conditions are. Um, they just look really goofy when it's happening. <laughs> It's like, it's like, oh man, like, this is like their equivalent of the quarantine haircut. It's goofy. But now, you're all set. Huh, bud? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you gonna get me? Oh, you got me. You got me. Okay, you win. You win. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Such a good boy. Isn't he precious? <laughs> um... Oh, and let me see here. Was Bruce Sesson for foie gras? Oh, this is the most common type of duck market in the city. Um, so if anyone is not familiar with foie gras, this is going to be something that's a little gross. Um, it is the liver of ducks and geese who have been, like, force-fed a really unhealthy diet. So it's this, like, disease deliver, which is apparently a delicacy. Um, but as, as you can imagine, being force-fed is, is extremely stressful for these animals, and never mind, well, their livers are inside their body, so to get the livers out, they have to then be killed. Um, Bruce was pr probably not... Um, at a foie gras market, I mean, he might have been, might have been, again, we don't, we don't exactly know, um, but we don't think he was. Some of our other ducks who live here probably came from a situation like that, like if you're familiar with, um, Giselle and Sabine, who are about half of his size, they're really shy, they don't really like being around people, and they were found in a crate on the highway that probably fell off of a truck doing, like, transport from a foie gras place. Um, so thankfully, the crate that they were in fell off the truck and we were able to rescue them. Um, so yeah, they are not big fans of humans. Kind of understandably so, <laughs> I don't blame them. Um, so yeah, it does kind of depend. Bruce, do you want to tell people where you came from before? I got nothing. <laughs> oh no, Janine, it's okay. I mean, it's it's sad to think about, but that is the reality for a lot of these birds. I mean, even if foie gras wasn't Bruce's situation, he was still going to end up on a dinner table somewhere. And several years ago, too, he's getting kind of old. Um, not too old, though, bud. You're still, you're still in good health. He's doing good. Um, but yeah... That's what we have here at the Sanctuary. We have all of these wonderful, friendly, shy, territorial, sometimes cuddly, sometimes all so many different animals who had their lives not taken a very lucky turn, probably would have been eaten. Um, and we're just so happy. It's our pleasure to be able to take care of these lovely, lovely ducks and everybody else. Right, bud? You want to take a nap? Where's your girl at, by the way? Oh, she's in there. Let's uh, get a little peek at Bruce's girl. Let me just spin this around. Alright, she might be a little tricky to see, but right in this doorway here is Valentina. And um, Valentina is also a Muscovy duck, but she's a female, and um, the females are noticeably smaller than the males. She's kind of more like a standard duck size. Like, again, if you're familiar with mallards or other types of ducks, she's kind of that size. Um, and she doesn't have that big, like, nose bulge like Bruce has. The male ducks have that, um, so they can show off to the lady ducks. Uh, but yeah, she's really shy, so that's why we're just gonna say hello to her from here. She was brought to us several years ago by a wildlife rehabilitator um, 
who found her and another duck named Dixie, who unfortunately has since passed away. And uh, the two of them were in really rough shape. They had really severe frostbite on their little toes. So Valentina, and she's fine, like, don't worry about her, but she is now missing most of her toes and the associated webbing. She can still walk around totally fine. She kind of has these little stumps she walks around on, but she's fine. Like, don't worry about her. Um, she's good. She's just shy. Uh, but her and Bruce have lived together now for several years. They're a really cute little pair. Um, and they will just kind of, like, cuddle up together and just kind of, you know, she'll put her head on his back. And they'll kind of take a nap. And it's really adorable. Very adorable. <laughs> Alright, let me just make sure I didn't miss any questions. Oh my gosh, just it's so wonderful to be able to see everybody's names who are joining us. Uh, some of you I know who have come and visited before. We miss being able to welcome you to the sanctuary here. Um, we do not yet currently know when we'll be able to do that again, or what exactly that's going to look like. Um, within New York, our region has started to, like, phase in openings, but we are not part of the, like, initial reopening phase. Um, but, you know, keep, uh, keep in touch with our social media and whatnot. Once we're able to welcome people, you know we'll be putting it out there. So, for now... I'm very happy that we were able to connect virtually. Um, oh, we have to ask Bruce if he likes the Sopranos. Hey, bud, are you? Oh, are you asleep? I think he might be asleep. Are you awake, bud? Bruce, what do you like to watch on TV? The people want to know. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that little like. This little kind of shaky thing he just did with his mouth. That's one of his I'm happy signs. Right, bud? Good boy. Good boy. He's so soft. So soft. Good boy. <laughs> He's gonna turn around and try to bite me any second now. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, there it is. Ow! He got me. He wins. <laughs> Contemplating important stuff. Bruce is musing about the meaning of life and the best foods to eat and the best temperature for water for swimming. What do you think, bud? <laughs> He's just so stinking cute. <laughs> Isn't he? Well, my dear, I feel like I could sit here all day with uh, with my little bud. Yeah, he's he's screen free now, but he's got his nature TV out here. He's just watched the little sparrow fly by. There are the bunnies who live next door to him um, in this yard over here. But it looks like they are inside right now. Um, oh, there is actually. Uh, let's see. Can we flip this around? Yes. There we go. Hanging out over there. This little chicken here is Robin Hood. Um, if you're familiar with Little John, Robin Hood and Little John are um, two roosters who we welcome to the sanctuary somewhat recently, within the past few months. Um, and so Little John is one of, uh, excuse me, uh, Robin Hood is one of Bruce's neighbors. And so he's just hanging out there, being handsome, like roosters do. So handsome. Those guys were also named by children, so Robin Hood and Little John. Very cute. Oh, you gonna hop down? Oh, no, he's gonna, oh, he's gonna have a little, let me, uh, let me lift this up so you can see he's gonna have a little fun bath. There we go. <laughs> so when, when they kind of sit down like that and they fan out their feathers and they stick out their wing and they kind of sit on their side, just enjoying the sunshine. It is a lovely, lovely day. <laughs> oh, there you go. We gotta check the other side. Well, I think that we are gonna go for a little walk. Because we've got some time left. And we can see who else is around. Let me just get the gate here. Okay, Bruce, we'll see ya. Bye, Bruce. Bye-bye. <gasps> Bye, Valentina.
Bye, Bruce. <laughs> All right, let me just close this so nobody sneaks in. All right, and it is, as you can see, just a beautiful day in the Hudson Valley. Beautiful, beautiful day. <laughs> and, oh, do they sleep all night? So yeah, they do sleep at night. I don't know about all night. I haven't checked on, in on them at the in the middle of the night. But during the day, they do tend to be awake. And then at night, they tend to sleep. So that makes them diurnal animals. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see. I think we're going to take a little walk around this way. We've got our horse trailer here. Um, we are always trying to accustom some of the horses to the trailer so that if there's an emergency, they can be loaded up. Because, you know, it can be a little bit scary at first. Kind of like if you've got a cat, you know? You want to make sure the cat is familiar with the cat carrier uh, when before you got to take them to the vet. So that way they maybe don't freak out so much. Right. Oh... Let's play a fun game of name that bum. <laughs> I know whose bum that is. It's a very hairy bum. <laughs> Let's go see him. Hey, bud. Hey, bud, come here. You want to come here? Let me just put this down. Oop. There we go. All right, name that sheep. <laughs> oh, he's gonna come over for a hello. Ooh, there's also a ladybug on my arm. How nice, very cute. Oh, hey bud, where are you going? You going, oh, no, we're being ignored. We are going inside, let's follow. <laughs> that is a Christopher bomb, yes. So it is my boy Christopher, but he has decided to go inside. We have the fan set up here, so if it gets a little loud, apologies for that. Um, but to try to help keep our sheep friends cool. Hey, bud! You want to say hi to the people now? Let's swing this around. Are you afraid of the tripod? It's not that scary. Oop, let me... Oh, hang on a second. Doo -doo -doo. There we are. Hey, bud! <gasps> what gives, man? I don't have any cookies right now, I'm sorry. So Christopher is actually a little bit mad at me right now. Uh, <laughs> so if you notice, my boy is, is, oh look, there's Shirley in the background. Hi, Shirley. Uh, if you notice, my boy here is still quite hairy. So Christopher, I mean, the uh, other sheep who are all further down that way in the barn, so we'll check in on them in a second. Um, the other sheep were all shorn last week. But Christopher, being a type of sheep who sheds on his own, um, and also being kind of an old man with sensitive joints, we didn't want to shear him because we were worried about his little, you know, his little arthritic knees. <laughs> um, so what I've been doing is I've been pulling off some of that hair because it's hot out. He's got too much hair. Uh, um, yeah. So he's actually kind of annoyed at me. I know, bud. I'm sorry. He's kind of annoyed at me that I've been pulling off his hair, and I also have a little pair of scissors. So I've been just kind of coming along and just trying to, you know, do a little snip on the sides there, and he does not like that. So, um, yeah, he's a little mad at me, but it'll be okay. You gotta be careful with sheep. Sheep have a very good memory. Uh, <laughs> they will remember things for years, so... Hopefully he will not hold a grudge against me for that long, my poor bud. Yeah, you. Wanna come say hi? I should have brought a cookie. I'm sorry. I didn't bring any cookies. I can see your tea. I can see your tea. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's giving me quite a look. Yeah, and poor Miss Shirley over there. I know, right? Look at her. <laughs> oh... If you know Shirley, you know she's very shy, so I'm not going to go over there to uh, bother her, especially because she looks like she's napping, but oh my gosh, yeah. It, it becomes a whole thing of like, oh my gosh, how do we recognize the sheep this time? What do they look like now? Poor little one. Alright, well let's go further down, and we can't, I'm just going to flip this. Alright. 
You can come with us, bud, if you want. See, look, oh, you see that? You see that on the right side, of, or on his left? That little clump. I want to grab it. I want to grab the clump of hair, but I won't. <laughs> I know, he's holding a grudge. My poor baby. Hi, sheep. I'm going to pause here, because some of them get freaked out by the camera. Um, so I, I want to let them come up to us. Oop. <laughs> yeah, I want to let them come up to us so we don't freak them out. Sheep are a little bit jumpy by their nature. So um, any sort of large thing that they're not super familiar with can be kind of scary. Um, or any sudden movements, even with something they are familiar with. Like actually once Christopher, I feel like I'm picking on Christopher today. Um, I had my, my hair behind my shoulder one day and I leaned over to pet him and it swung around the front and he ran away. <laughs> um, so even that, even though he knows me very well, even that was, was enough for him to be like, no, 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 no. Hey, bud. Yeah, maybe we should play another game of Name That Sheep. What do you think, bud? Who are you? He's got horns. And he's pretty big. And he was born here. See if anyone knows who he is. Oh, okay, bye. Oh, and we know this one. Come here, little one. <laughs> it's Neeners. Hi, Neens. Look at the little, look at the little girl. Hi. <laughs> yeah, Christopher is not happy. He'll be okay. He'll be okay, bud. He'll be okay. Um, do they get popsicles to stay cool? So, we do give popsicles to some of the animals, uh, especially the pigs. They really enjoy that. Um, I don't know if we've given them to the sheep before. Hmm. That's an, an interesting question. But we definitely make them for the pigs. We get, like, cartons and we put all kinds of, um, fruits and vegetables in there we make like we'll throw in like potatoes in there like cut up chunks like so they like this big so they're kind of weird flavor popsicles i guess <laughs> um but yeah pigs enjoy it they're really fun really fun to uh see them eat it they get really excited so i'm sure we will be sharing some videos of that on our social media as the temperature continues to rise and as we get more and more into the summer Oh, and do they, uh, do the sheep sweat with the, when they're all fluffy in the summer? Well, that is why we did have to shear these guys here the other day. Mina is a type of sheep who will not shed on her own. So, like, this hair is, is pretty stuck on there um, because she's been bred not to shed. So different from my boy Christopher, who is giving me a look. Hold on a second. He's giving me a look with some of the sheep. Hey, bud. Oh, Nina, don't hit me. Hi, bud! Oh, my baby. My poor baby. Meanwhile, I'm getting hit by Nina. Ma'am, it's very rude when you do that. It's very, very rude. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, if they, if the ones who... You see that? You're going to do that again? Okay. Uh, but, yes, if the sheep who have been bred not to shed don't get shorn for the summer, um, I mean, Nina's hair was out to about here, so I'm sure you can imagine that was um, very unpleasant in warmer temperatures. Uh, and it was her first year this year. Um, Nina, for those of you who are not familiar, she came to us last year in April, and um, so she, she was still really young and didn't have like a ton of thick hair or anything by the time things started to warm up. Uh, so yeah, we didn't like that. You're very stressful for our little baby. Very stressful. But now you feel a lot better. Yeah, it was it was a rough day for the sheep last uh, last Monday. Even like um, if you know Scout, who is she's way down there somewhere. I don't know which one she is from here. Um, Scout, after she was shorn, she was like maybe the fourth one to get shorn or something like that. Um, so when she was released, she ran out of the barn here, and she just ran around for like an hour, just screaming her head off, uh, just from the stress. So, my poor baby. Um, we feel better now, though. 
don't we? You feel better? Yeah. It's still a little warm. I mean, they still don't do great with the heat. Um, like, that's why we have that big fan down at that end of the barn. And we have, um, for, uh, lovely Shirley. So Shirley, Nina, and, um, Laverne. Another sheep, so Laverne and Shirley. <gasps> Nina, you're hitting me! <gasps> How could you? I feel so betrayed. Um, but yes, so Shirley, Laverne, and Nina all share a stall together and we actually had to put in an air conditioner in their stall so that we'll be able to keep it cool for them because surely even with the hair off um really does not do well with with the heat um so they've got their air conditioned room right over there um and we also keep that closed during the day so if any of the animals need like an emergency cool down space we can pop them in there that'll bring down their temperature kind of like when it's like really hot for us uh, like the humans, you know, you want to make sure you have a place where you can cool down so you don't, you know, get, like, heat stroke and stuff, because that would be bad. So, keep an eye on you guys and make sure you're doing okay. Hi. Are you the cutest? You're a very good girl. Even if you were hitting me. You learned that from Stuart, didn't you? For those of you who know Stuart, who is another sheep who lives here, he's, a uh, yeah, down over that way somewhere. Um... He's the one who kind of started that thing of like, hey, you're not paying enough attention to me. Um, and hitting you with the front leg. And then, like, a whole bunch of other sheep started doing it. So, they do learn from each other. And Uncle Stuart is a bad influence. One might even say, a bad influence. With that, it's time to go. <laughs> Uh, let me just see if there are any last questions or anything. Oh, and I don't know if any... Oh, are you going to, are you going to hit me? Are you going to hit me? You wouldn't. I'm going to tell Shirley on you. <gasps> Ow! So rude. So rude. I'm going to tell Shirley you're not behaving. Don't do it. <gasps> Stop it. I will pet you, okay? Okay. Okay, we'll hang out for a little bit, but we have to say bye to the people, okay? Because it's about that time. You want to say bye to the people? Um, and yes, for anyone who played the Guess That Sheep uh, game, by the way, that was Davey, who was the one who kind of was looking at us and then went away. So, he's got better things to do. He's standing in the bag over there with his friends. And Nina, you should go hang out with your friends, too. And I should get going. So, folks, in the meantime... Thank you again so much for joining us. We wish we could be welcoming you here in person, but being able to see all the lovely comments of everyone in there and all the little hearts going off on the screen, always really appreciated. We miss you. Um, but, you know, we are making sure everything is safe, and when we are able to do so, we will be so excited to welcome you all back. So in the meantime, stay in touch with us here virtually. We'll be having another virtual sanctuary session on Thursday at 1 o'clock. Caden will be hosting that one. So you'll have to tune in and see who Caden's going to go hang out with. Uh, you can also find us on social media like Facebook uh, and also on YouTube and also on Instagram and also on Twitter. And we are even on TikTok. Yay! Nina, we're on TikTok. I'm too old for that, but you might be the right age. You might know how that works. For TikTok. Um, Christopher, you're too old for TikTok. It's okay, dude. He's still kind of giving me a look. Um, but yes, and the Chronogrammies. And I think one of our, uh, either Veronica and Heather, could pop a link for the Chronogrammies in the chat there for us. Uh, which are some local, you know, regional awards. And we are nominated for Best Kids Activity, Best Bed and Breakfast for the Homestead, our guest house here. Don't. Um, and Best Activism Organization. I hope I got that right. Veronica, Heather, please feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, but we would love if you guys would pop over there and vote for us. Voting does end pretty soon. So if you haven't done it yet, go ahead and do that. Right, Nina? I know we're going to nudge the people. Oh, ow. Nudge the people. Say, go vote for us. Go vote for us. Okay, okay, okay. I think they got the message. Okay? I think they got the message. Okay. You're too much. Um, but yes, all right, everybody, I'm going to get going. Take care of yourselves out there. We miss you. We love you. Stay safe. Okay? 
and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.